In the last two years, sectarian conflicts between tribes in Kajuru local government area of Kaduna State has been the order of the day. This has brought untold pain and irreparable losses, mostly human lives, to all parties to the conflict. And no fewer than 3,000 people remain displaced from their homes. <laughs> Gathered here are members of the Truth and Reconciliation Committee set up by the communities to find a lasting solution to the differences fueling the violence. The chairman of the committee, who is also a former chairman of Kajuru local government area, reads out some of the resolutions. We are taking odds to make sure that we do the right thing, we do justice to this issue, and to make sure that we have lasting, peaceful coexistence in Kajuru local government. Members of the committee, including representatives of the Christian Association of Nigeria and Jamaatul Nasir al Islam, stress the need to create a conducive environment that will encourage an honest assessment of the underlying issues. We emphasize the need for us to be tolerant, to actually allow peace to reign. And whenever we find ourselves in disharmony with one another, we should try to find ways of resolving them. Where there is no peace, a lot of atrocity things happen. So I'm calling to the youth, because the youth are the pioneers of this. If the youth should come down and live in peace, I believe we will achieve all our aim in the local government. For the people of Kajuru, who are predominantly farmers, there are fears that if the crisis continues, many of them will be unable to take part in the next planting season, which will then be ushered in by the fast approaching rainy season. The pursuit of peace is to ensure safety of lives, property, and their livelihoods.